Hello everybody, today I want to share with you one program what I uh, made um, last week and um, I don't know it's kind of uh, hard to categorize thing um, so what kind of video is it uh, but I really want to share what I get uh, so I'm not going to develop uh, write the program uh, during the um, video I, I'm just uh, going to show you what I have and uh, mm, I had this idea a long time ago and I was playing around with this thing and um, and it was like really really long time ago it's probably 10 years ago or 15 uh, 15 uh, years ago um, and uh, so there is a one of uh, theory uh, according how uh, life um, uh, how life uh, kind of seeded and become uh, in the earth and the theory it's it's called like a primordial uh, soap so let me bring my browser here so here is it it's um, there is a wikipedia page about this thing and uh, there is a soviet uh, biologist alexander apparing uh, got this idea like how what is the origin of uh, life on the earth and uh, um, so there is like you know different uh, sort of pools uh, with fresh water on the earth and there is a uh, a lot of storms and lightnings and these lightnings make the, some uh, chemicals with nitrites and uh, this kind of makes the sort of soup um, out of fresh water and all chemicals and all these kind of mix uh, made um, different uh, amino acids and so on and so on so um, I kind of um, wanted to simulate this thing and uh, have like a two-dimensional uh, soap um, so I have this kind of class and uh, I have array of food so it's uh, height, width and height and just a 16-bit integer and um, also I have a bunch of uh, cells like array, array of cells and each cell um, has some sort of uh, program inside so there is a cell and uh, it has some uh, parameters like it has ID, it has pointer to soup, and it has its coordinates. H, I'm not using H for now. It has its um, internal energy, and this is like a virtual machine. So it has uh, 32 registers and uh, the program inside uh, 124, 1024 words. And the program is. Uh, um, very simple it has very simple assembly um, it has um, 16 different uh, commands and each command has uh, two um, takes two parameters uh, and it's uh, basically registers and it might be addressed from register or register registers itself so and uh, there is a like how I encode this thing like uh, four bytes commands and like one bit I'm sorry four bits command one bit is indirect register or direct register and there is a uh, uh, five bits for register and like for left and right sides for register so it's kind of simple and to control the cell there is a um, uh, addresses high addresses so you can read from this uh, address and get the energy of cell and then you can look around and inside the cell to get uh, how many food around the cell and uh, also you can check that is it is it is does it have our cell nearby so uh, on different directions like left right uh, top and bottom and if you write to this address uh, cell will divide and uh, energy would divide into and if you re write to this cell it will, will eat 10 out of soup and increase the energy and if you write to this address 0, 1, 2 or 3 it will, uh, the cell will move 
also i made the um, i made the class as uh, not the class like um, set of classes uh, to support uh, to simplify writing assembly code um, so this is uh, ways how i can write the assembly code and i can show the like initial program for the cell so it looks like this so you can assign something to register then you um you cannot assign uh, 16-bit integer because i just don't have enough bits in the opcode so i can assign up to um six bits and then i'm shifting and assigning another six bits shifting assigning another six bits and like all f like f f f f address its energy and then i can make the address for food for divide for eat and so on and then i also set up a threshold for energy and then i'm checking if like basic idea if cell has um enough energy inside it will divide and it will sit on the spot if there is a food underneath and it will eat uh, all this food and then it will look around and find the uh, maximum uh, food around and will move to this point and cycle uh, repeats uh, also i implemented a uh, mutation so then cell is moving cell is uh, leaving it will um, randomly mutate the code so this is like mutation so each uh, in average 40,000 uh, ticks cycles uh, random address uh, in memory would be um, mutated so this is the code how to uh, run opcode of the cell so it just takes the opcode and like move data from registers, load, add, subtract, multiply, divide, and so on and so on and so on. So this is the program. Um, there is a very only basically one dependency. It's a dependency out of uh, SDL2. Um, what else? Um, yeah, I put I published. I'm not published, actually I did not publish yet. I uploaded my code to GitHub and um, let me make it public. GitHub, so here's it. And um, I want to make this repository public. Make this repository public, make public. So I'm going to make it public. Um, Primor. So here is it. So the address is github.com Anton T Primordial Soup. So you can get this thing and uh, I was nice enough to make the make file. So to build this thing you just need to run make on your Linux box or I also tested on MacBook on my book and uh, on Mac uh, and it works. So uh, let's stop working uh, stop talking and uh, run demonstration so let's run it so and you can see i see that like uh, and this is behavior of my program and also you can see here on this area there is mutation happens and there is a like cell did go very down and start eating things here um, there is also this kind of mutation i guess and there is a there is a this mutations the cell moved here and these cells looks like are going to die out of starvation but hopefully this will make the uh, good sur surviving colony so actually it was quite nice um, normally i need to do multiple tries uh, to run this thing um, but it's work quite nice um, for some reason I see this sort of mutation quite often so like it's going down and like then goes up and there is a you know like a flea from this side and it goes to this direction um, I don't know also I like this kind of mutation it's like a drawing sort of tree but it's it's actually dies on the edge I um, had uh, a lot of tuning to make it uh, to look nice right so uh, 
let me uh, also explain what all these kind of things means like these blue things it's a food like uh, uh, more blue color it's more food like dark color there is not too much food uh, red red and green dots it's uh, cells and the uh, color of the dot means like how much energy each cell had like green means it has a lot of energy and uh, red means it doesn't have too much energy and uh, most likely it will uh, die soon out of starvation um, also Oh, here's it. There is in our mutation, uh, and you can see like it's sort of uh, interesting. I see quite often the mutation. Then cells start uncontrollably divide and uh, eat a lot of things, and like there is a lot of cells with uh, really low energy, so they kind of dividing and eating too much. So we'll see. Normally, what I see it's uh, on the edge. There is a if we have too much food, uh, so there is en enough food to survive for these kind of cells, and these kind of cells will eat everything here. So if we wait uh, long enough, and sometimes I can see like red spots here, but uh, this colony uh, dying uh, quite fast because there is not too much food around. So let's wait. I I hoping. Did you see? There is a spot, like red spot here. This is the traveler. Also, I, li I like this kind of um, arrangement. Hopefully, this colony will survive. No, it's not going to survive. No, they all died. Here is it. Here is it, the mutation. But you can see it will not spread too much because there is not too much food. So it will eat everything else. And all, unfortunately, all this colony will die out of starvation. Hopefully, there is like some of cells will actually this two this this survived it's nice yeah so yeah i like this thing so let's see i'm waiting for mutation on this side like you know cancer like here is it there is a dot it will happen because there is too much food here is it there is another dot here is it it's happened see it's going to eat everything from here so i have based on this thing a lot of different ideas you know you can um i you can i can make the, some sort of contest and write the program uh different two cells and different programs and see which which colony will, will survive as you can see my uh my program is not very good but like because of uh, all these kind of mutations it survived and you know if you if I run this thing without uh, mutation like colony will die like very fast it will just go from bottom to top and like this direction and will die uh, but because of mutation like some of cells this kind of cells survived and um, but uh, we can make the contest and disable uh, mut mut mutation right and uh, see which colony will uh, so, uh, live longer and uh, actually different types of colony will kind of fight for resources and it uh, might be interesting in our idea it's um, mm, making a sort of a terrarium right like run uh, different colonies with different uh, programs uh, on kind of different monitors and make like a uh, art exhibition sort of mm. so but for now i think i'll i will just um, upload different movies with uh, this uh, these cells um, you know on youtube but i just need to figure out what kind of background music put on this thing and um, probably i will just do lazy thing looks like everything died so it's going to end yeah yeah so all cells uh, died and the uh, program stopped so um i forgot about what i was talking um so yeah so i'm going to upload more videos with different uh, types of uh, like we'll try to find uh, interesting patterns interesting behaviors of cells um, and just need to find some background music for all these things um, so subscribe and uh, 
if you want to see more videos about uh, cells uh, thank you for watching and um, hopefully see you next time bye